Private Selection Oud Essence and Private Selection Oud Amour. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I'm doing my first ever double cologne review on uh, ANF Private Selection Oud Amour and ANF Private Selection Oud Essence. I was going to uh, do their own video for each one of these. There's just something about this uh, private selection that's just really odd. Um, it, it, they, they all come in these dark little containers. They're not very unique. They all have the obviously the oud in it, the O U D. And I feel like, like people when I've read about oud, people say, you know, it's I mean, it's like you know, it's an acquired smell. It's like not really a mass pleasing smell. You kind of have to like like it because definitely most people don't like it. So. Um, it's just really weird having all these three. I kind of feel almost the same about each one. They're very like, they seem well blended, but it's just that oud. Like I just don't like the oud and on top of it, it's like they give us three. I think most people uh, or most companies they'll release one, maybe two oud selections. So like, you know, it's because it's such an acquired taste, like, hey, we'll make our own little brand of it. But you know what I mean? They came out with three. And I remember around Christmas time, the Oud selection, like you could buy the gift set real cheap. And I have a feeling they, they put that on stuff that they think is good, but for some reason people aren't buying. And I think people aren't buying because they're not really unique. Um, and it's just like they have that, I mean, they have the Oud in there. Like I sprayed all three. I have reviewed one of the Ouds a long time ago. And as you can see, I've had the, all three Ouds since then. I just was very unenthusiastic about it. There really wasn't for me to much to say. I didn't really like the Oud. I understand people do. And like, I feel like my opinion on these might change if I were to smell other Oud clones because certain clones I've had have changed. Like I'll have different opinions on it once I smell other things and have something to compare to. So I might end up liking these more because they definitely smell well blended, but I just really can't get around the Oud and I really just don't like how they're, um, they're not very unique, you know what I mean? It just, it's just really hard for me to say. The Essence, so we'll give it to like an actual review. I was kind of just reviewing the Ouds as a whole, but Essence, let's do some more. As you can see, they don't have different colors. So, I mean, I, unless I look at it, I'm not going to know which is which because they're like the exact same thing from the side. So, Oud Essence, very uh, kind of earthy. Kind of like a big like punch of a bush. That's what I kind of get. Like I don't really like too much of that in my colognes. Like I like a little bit of that, a little bit of that earthy natural smell, but I don't like it to be like oh, like you can't even breathe. Like that's like it's like I could I can still breathe with it, but it's just like I'm just not really feeling it. And then on the right, I put the the first one that I reviewed, which I thought was the best. And it's really good. It hides the. Uh, it hides the oud smell the most and it, it kind of oud, lets the oud give it a little bit of sweet and kind of just you know zest out you could definitely smell the oud if you go and look for it but i don't really smell it too much right off the bat and then um the amour i almost thought i liked the amour better it is kind of like a mix between the really sweet and light and the real earthy essence um, for some reason, like I just cannot, I could tell you that I don't like essence as much. I could see people doing it, be liking it because some people like the earthy smells a lot. I'm not really big of that. Like certain like earthy things, I feel like it'll change the way I'll breathe. And like, Oh man, like that has such a pungent. Oh, I don't like when that happens. I like a little bit of that, but not like just, ugh, you know what I mean? And that's what I get from the essence. Again, this is just me personally, not really feeling the essence. And then it's hard for me to say if Amour is better than um, Oud Nui. I just remember the name of it. Oud Nui is the first one that I reviewed. And then that was what I thought was the best. And now this, the middle one, it's like, yeah, I'm, I mean, it's so, so close. Cause like, I don't like the Oud smell and uh, the Oud Nui hides the Oud smell the most. And it's very, it's kind of sweeter, lighter, good. But the uh, Oud Amour has more of like a mixed more of a full smell, but you do smell the oud a little more, which I don't like. And all three of them are kind of like nighttime scents. And even then, it's like, it's just such a niche area. Like, I can't ever remember, I can't picture wanting to use these over other colognes at any time. And I feel like if I had to use these, I'd have to use them at night, which maybe, I think they are like, um, kind of themed towards that, like private selection and this and that. I don't know. I'm not really too impressed. I really, I just wanted to get these out of the way. Like, I literally was about to do one 
of these reviews, and then I was like, alright, well, I need to smell all of them so I could give you guys an honest opinion, so I got the other one, I'm like, okay, well, let's just get this one out of the way. Um, 2017 for me, if anybody's got this far in the video and anybody cares, 2017 for me as far as clones go, I'm definitely going to be interested in the Abercrombie stuff, I'll probably pick up more stuff like that, but I'm really interested more in um, getting very high, you know, getting very, very good colognes, because uh, if I were to pick probably the four or five designer scents that I like the most, like, they would be, you know... I just think the designer scents are pretty much where it's at and like you I do have to spend more money and like a lot of times I'll get on these sales and like I like actually buying things from Abercrombie too so like you have to spy, spend a certain amount to get free shipping so usually I'm like ah, I want a little bit of some jeans I want some of this and I'll just get a cologne you know what I mean if, if it's on sale you know what I mean eh, I'll just get like a little bundle you know so I have to get them off Amazon and there honestly is some really good colognes like when I reviewed Dolce & Gabbana is the one absolute fire cologne. It's $35 for the same size as Abercrombie's clones, like 1.7 ounce. And it is so amazing and it's so good. And like if you were to get Dolce & Gabbana's the one, there's pretty much like almost nothing I can recommend you in Abercrombie selection that could touch it. The only thing I you could I could really say is fierce, but if you're going by the the, the non-fierce intense, the regular fierce. I mean, the one might beat it. The one is just fabulous. So it's like, you know, for $35, you know what I mean? I could get that, which is gonna, it's just about going to kill everything at Hollister, everything at Abercrombie. And it's unfortunate, you know what I mean? When you when Abercrombie had the old clones, they were a lot better and a lot higher quality. And it's kind of gone to the way it is now. And like, you know, now we got these. And I'm just not very, you know, impressed. I'm hoping uh, for 2017 to get just better clones and like more quality over quantity and I really like being one of the only people who reviews Abercrombie clones so that's why I probably still will put my opinion out there on it I almost want to just go to the store and spray the new colognes on and then just give you my opinion um, I do like to collect and own these like there's a lot of these clones that I would just give away because I don't like not like all of them but probably about five or ten like people would enjoy but because I have such good ones like I'm never gonna use them so I wanted to give them away but then it's like I'm doing this um, YouTube and it's nice having this collection so it's like I want to be able at any time to be able like oh this smells like this or I could present it in my video even if I don't wear it I could use it for a reference so like I do end up having a lot of these and like I just want more quality over quantity, so for 2017, that's what I'm going to go for. Um, if you got to the end of this video, thanks a lot, man. Leave a like, uh, you know, comment if, you, uh, comment if you have something to say, that would be cool. And uh, I'm going to do like a top five video if you're interested across all clones, Abercrombie and otherwise. There's a few ties in there. And my goal for this year is to knock as many colognes off my top five as possible. I want to get better clones and more quality over quantity but anyways guys been josh tv like i said uh if you like the video then like the video i appreciate it so much and uh leave a comment if you're interested anyways and i'll uh, see you all in the next video have yourself a great day